Got some Sony log footage here and you can see it looks very not colorful. It looks very washed out because it hasn't been converted yet. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the way that I do it, which I think is by far the easiest and best way. And you can do 500 clips at a time if you want, okay? Uh, we're not gonna use CSTs. We are not gonna use LUTs. We're gonna let DaVinci's automatic system take care of this. Here's what you do, and, and you're going to need some special color management before this works. So stay tuned. You'll need to change one thing before this will work. I'm going to come over to this clip in my uh, media pool. I'm going to right click it. Down here it says input color space, and now I get to tell DaVinci what kind of footage this is. This is S Log 3 footage. If I come down from a newer Sony camera, the correct input color space is S Gamut 3.Cine S Log 3. Watch what happens to the picture when I click this. Boom. It's been instantly converted. No CSTs, no LUTs. This is done uh, in the best mathematic way possible by DaVinci. After it's done, it's still never going to be perfect. It needs some color grading, some color correcting. But before any of this will work, you need the right color management settings. So let me show you what my settings are right now. All right, in order to use these techniques, we need the right color management settings. If you go to the bottom right of DaVinci, there's a cog wheel. Open that up, that brings up your project settings. We're gonna to go to color management, and these are the settings I use. Now, there, this, there are hundreds of hours of information online, and it's really confusing. So I'm just gonna tell you, this is what I'm using. This works perfect. I do real estate videos and wildlife and that kind of stuff. This gives me the highest dynamic range and the easiest workflow. So up here for color science, I've got DaVinci YRGB color managed. Color processing mode is DaVinci wide gamut intermediate. Just ignore that HDR. You may be thinking, well, I don't use HDR. Just forget that's even there. Just ignore that. And output, output color space in most cases, uh, this is going to be your most correct thing. Once again, this is a massive, massive topic. You're going to make your head explode if you try to get into it. I'm just telling you, this is what I use, and it works absolutely amazing for me. Now, once you have set that up, you're good to go. But let me show you one little tip. If you come up to the top right corner here, there's three little dots. And this gives you the uh, opportunity to set your current settings as a default preset or to save the settings as a preset. So that way, once you've set this, every time you open up a new project, it will automatically be here. So you'll never have to set this again. So that's that. So anyhow, that is how you set up your color space. Once you do, you'll be able to uh, do the right click and input color space like we've talked about. Now that we have the color settings uh, properly set up, let me just jump over into the color page here real quick. I'm just gonna make a couple of little adjustments to improve this from where it's already started. What The conversion is just a starting point. For me personally, I think the sky is a little too bright over there. I'm gonna turn my highlights down a little bit and bring some of that sky back. I'm probably gonna brighten up the shadows a little bit. I'm going to lower my black point a little bit. I'm gonna raise my white point a little bit. This is just all personal preference. I'm gonna warm it up a tiny bit. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of purple tint and I'm also gonna put a little bit of an S curve in here and darken my darkers, my darker parts and maybe brighten the, the higher midtones. And now I'm gonna come back over and I'll show you before and after. Here's the little bit of color grading that I did. So basically we started here with the log footage, then I converted it with the uh, input color space, and then I added the color grade. So that's how easy it is to convert and color grade S-Log3 footage. Uh, and I hope this has helped you out. Um, once again, there's a lot of information on color space in YouTube. I think it's really confusing. So instead of getting into it, I'm not an expert on it at all, but I've showed you what I do, and I promise you this works perfect for me every day and it's so easy.